We have a PDF uh, a document here and it has a data set that I would like to extract it uh, using the R software. And that's what I want us to go through so that we can be able to have this data in the CSV and we could use it for other further analysis that we would like to perform. Add data from PDF to CSV. And to do that, we have three libraries that we would like to have. We have the PDF tools. We have the library, the read all. And then we have the library, the PLYR. And each one of the libraries is very key to our work. So if I name my data as bank one, I'm going to read a PDF into text. And uh, what I have is bank data dot PDF. And the first request I'll make using the pipe is to be able to to read lines. And reading lines involves using the read R package that we have in our data. Uh, in our the read R package will help us to read the lines in our data. The second thing I want to do with my data is uh you know that my data now I have it there is I want to specify the number of rows. I want to read from row two to seventeen of the data, and then I want to uh, to string squish that is from the string R, and the purpose of that is to help me remove the empty spaces, and then I can also split up the splings. Uh, I want to split up the strings in the data and create spaces between them. So I say split is equals to that to separate the, the columns of my data. The third thing I want to do now is with my data, I want to convert my bank data into a data frame. So if I view bank 3, that's what I have. The other thing, the last thing I want to do is I want to rename my columns and the first one can be called the bank name. The second one is assets. The third one is liabilities. And the third one is net assets. So those are the four that I have. So if I say column names, bank A, then I could assign them as the var lines. And so if I check that and I view my bank A, you see my columns are good. The last thing I want to do is I want to write dot CSV and I want to write bank 3 and then I'll call it bank underscore data dot CSV and therefore my data now is in CSV format. There we have, you can see now my data is no longer in PDF format, but it is uh, in the CSV format. And now I can easily work with it uh, in R Studio more than I would have been able to achieve when it was in PDF format. And the steps are very simple and easy to follow.